Okay. For this part, we're going to actually be making the coil pot. So we're going to take our design. We want to make a coil pot that looks similar to this. So the first thing we need to do is make a base. So if you recall, my base was around four and three quarters uh, of an inch, almost five inches. So you got to find a circle template. All right. And there are two tote trays. One says circle stencils and compasses. One says circle templates. Uh, over here in the tote trays, find one that's similar in size. So kind of measure, this is four and a half. This in here is about five. So I'm gonna use the four and a half. I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. It's okay if you go a little bit smaller, if you're not sure, come and see me uh, and I'll, I'll let you know. Now, you want a cloth board, this is important. And you want to mist, again, mist, mist, mist. Don't drench, just mist that board to get a little bit wet, a little damp. You're gonna take some clay, and we gotta get enough clay to roll out to make this size. So, it shouldn't take very much. And so I'm gonna take the string. And I'm just gonna get a little wedge off here. Put this to the side. All right, and I'm gonna use the green, and you probably should use the green dowel rods. Again, you want to use the dowel rods because why? Hopefully you said to make sure that it's even. All right, so I'm going to kind of flip this around and make sure, just kind of test to make sure that it's going to be somewhat big enough, and it is. And then I want to push it down. Notice I don't have a lot of clay, don't need a lot. All right, okay, and there's, that's big enough. So if we put this on here, now you can take a lid. I'm gonna kind of lift this up so you can see it a little bit. Don't push this down in there. I know you can kind of push it a little bit, but don't push it all the way down. It gets stuck in there. So I would use the needle tool or something. And you're just going to cut that around. And you do want to try to keep that as cylindrical as possible. So do it neatly. And then you are going to take that clay off. And then you should have circle base. Now, after you do this, I'm going to go ahead and leave that laid up here so you guys can see it a little bit. Um, after you do this, you want to go get, you can work on this board, but honestly, I would get an over where the gap is. I'll try to show you uh, where this little cubby is underneath here. Okay, there are a bunch of boards with trash bags over the top of it. Use this to keep your coil pot on as you store it, okay? And probably to work, to work on. Also in there are these little nice little turntable things, okay? But be careful, don't pick them up like this because the bottom will fall, it'll make a big noise and everybody will be scared to death. Uh, there's not enough for everybody, so it's kind of first come, first serve. I'll show you some other ways you can use this too, but these do come in handy. So I'm gonna get one of each. I'm going to set it over here to the side for now and come back to here. All right, so what we're going to do next is we have this. I'm going to set it over here on, and I'm going to move this over a little bit. So I'm going to move this over, and my base is on there. Now we have to make what are called coils. This is the toughest part of this assignment, okay? They don't have to be the exact size, but uh, they do need to be kind of cylindrical. So you want to kind of form them in a coil, but not really, really thin. And then again, mist, not drench, mist. And you want to take it and you want to go back and forth. I'm trying to move it over here. Back and forth with your hand. And you feel like right now, you can see my hands kind of thump, 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 thump. All right, so it's getting flatter on one side and it is the other. So I want to kind of even that out a little bit. So you got to feel the clay. Feel the clay. Be one with the clay. All right, and this takes some practice. Notice how I start spreading out my fingers a little bit. And you're just gonna start to get wobbly. And you may have to do this two or three times. It's okay, it takes some practice, just like everything else. So if you feel that wobble, try to straighten it out. Where is the wobble out? You gotta fix it, okay? But make sure you're not going short like this. If you do that, it's not going all the way around. It's gonna have a wobble, okay? So make sure you go all the way back and forth. And I kind of spread my fingers out. And it's still a little wobbly, so I'm going to see if I can fix it. And what we're looking for is we don't want a real thick, thick coil, but you don't want a super thin one. You get too thin, 
it's going to take you forever to build this. You get it too thick, uh, it makes the coil pot extremely heavy. Okay, so we're looking about this size. I would say about the size of your pinky, all right, or maybe one of your fingers. Not really your thumb. We don't want it that thick. All right, so for the very first coil of the day, coil of the day, all right, we're going to score and slip because we're adding a piece on. So the first coil every day, I'm going to score and slip. So I'm going to take this neat little serrated rib, all right, and then I'm also going to score my coil, one side of it. All right, now I'm going to take my slip. I don't care if my fingers get dirty. I'm going to put it on kind of thick. Again, you don't want to, you don't want it super, super thick, but you also don't want it so thin. Remember, this is your glue. So I'm just going to put it on there so you guys can kind of see it on there. And then I'm going to put my coil on. But this is the most important part, too. Not only do your coils need to be even, that's where this thing comes in. Okay, so we're going to put butt this up to the uh, base. Make sure that it's flat. Make sure that it's not leaning this way or this way. All right, and then you want to look at this curve. Is it going out? Is it going straight up? Or is it going in? Mine's going out just a tad, but it's really going straight up. So that means when I lay this coil on, I want it to be straight up from that base. Now notice this is too long, okay? I'm just going to trim that off where it goes, all right? But then I'm gonna put this back up here and see where it butts up against the edge. Again, it's flat, make sure it is flat and you wanna make sure, like right here, there's a little gap right there, you can't see it. So I'm gonna push that in a little bit. You gotta keep turning it, all right? Like this one, I don't know if you guys can see it, See how it's not on the edge? It's got to be moved to the edge. You've got to do this at this point. Can't do it later. It doesn't work. All right? So after we hit that point, what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger, or you can take this little rounded wooden or plastic tool works really well. I'm going to try to hold it up like this. Keep your hand on the outside because you're going to pull this down just a little bit. And I'll do it both ways. I like to pull it down with my fingers. Don't grab too much. Okay, we still got to leave thickness of the coil there. And you want to pull that down all the way. All right, and your, your fingers get goopy, just wipe them off. But I like to put my hand around there because if you just do this, it's going to push the clay out. We don't want to push the clay out. Okay, so that's where this little turntable actually comes in nice because you can kind of turn it as you work with it. All right. So I'm going to keep turning it a little bit and then I'm putting my hand behind and I'm pulling that clay down all the way around, but I'm just grabbing a little bit. I'm not grabbing a lot. Put it down this way and I'm not pushing that coil out. Now some of you may do this and it may not work the first couple times. I may have to start over. It's okay. All right, but see how that's all kind of pulled down in the inside. If you want to at that point, kind of, it doesn't matter really that it's super th smoothed out in the inside. It's more the outside that counts, okay? So next though, speaking of the outside, uh, we're gonna go about two or three coils high before we pull down the outside. You can go one at a time. The inside needs to be pulled down every time you put a coil on. All right, so I'm gonna set this over the side. Now I gotta make a new coil. So again, make sure that you have enough and I'm going to move this back over the side. I'm going to make a coil. Again, this takes some practice. This is not an easy feat. Some people it will be a little bit easier. Some of you may take a while. All right, so there's another piece. Now, since it's my second piece of the day, I do not have to score and slip. All right, we just have to do... Uh, score and slip on the first one today. So again, I'm going to butt this up against it and now it's starting to come out All right, so my coils need to come out just a little bit I don't know that you can see that really well, but it does come out just a little bit and again, we got to turn This and check it and make sure it comes out On all the sides you can't do it on one 
because it may be out here, maybe in over here, and then your pot's gonna be lopsided. All right, so before we even pull that down, all right, and when I did that, you'll notice I've got a gap, and that's okay. I'm just gonna make another small little coil. Look, I got a little extra piece from my other one that I cut off early. So I'm gonna put that in there, just cut it off and piece it in, but I'm gonna check to make sure that it comes out a little bit. All right, once you do that, you pull that down again. Again, I cannot emphasize, all right? Let me pull it up here. Put your hand on the side and then pull this down just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit of clay. Pulling it down. And then I keep turning it. So again, that's where that little turntable, so if your hands get wet, you can use this little tool. Let's, let me try to go up this way so you guys can see. So I'm holding back here, and then I'm just grabbing and pulling a little bit, enough to pull that seam down. Kind of like a weld. When I told you guys to do the welds on the other ones, you're just pulling the clay down to create a weld. So we're covering up that seam. And then basically, you just keep doing that. All right, that's kind of came out, so I gotta kind of push it out. And after about every two or three coils, then you need to start pulling down the outside. And you can start pulling down that a little bit at a time. And I'll show you that. All right. Again, you want to kind of hold on to the inside and pull this down. Now, you do want to kind of get that smooth. So if you need help with this process, I know it's kind of hard to see on here. You may have to pull up or down. You can take these tools and kind of pull it. But you want to take the bump of the coil and kind of bring it into that seam. It's kind of hard to do it backwards, but all right. So, and once you get to this part, I can help you kind of smooth that out, but I'll come around and kind of help you do that individually. This is to try and kind of get you started to start out with. So then take this and you take your hands and smooth it out, but you still need to kind of check it with this little piece, okay? So what you're gonna do is keep building this up until it gets to this form. So it's gonna take time. Do not rush it. If you rush it, then it's not gonna look very good, okay? And again, some of you may have to start over. It's okay. You may get too fast and it plops. Uh, you may get too thick of coils. You may get too thin. It's an experimentation phase, so it takes a little bit of time. So take your time with it. Uh, make sure you use your hands to support. Uh, if you're having problems with the coils, come and get me. I'll try to help you the best I can. Remember, every day at the beginning of the day, so if I, this is a new day and I had four coils high, then the first coil of the day, I'm going to score and slip. And then after that, it's just pull, pulling down um, the coils from there. Okay, and then I'll show you another video later on how to smooth things out. If you have any questions, please, please, please ask me. All right.